Okay, Chef Christopher, let's yes. finish up with our gazpacho. So here we have it nice and clear, right? Okay. And what are we showing? Let's show. You don't need to. Oh. See, don't okay. put something like this. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some of it back together. We're going to put it in here. We're going to make ice cubes out of it. So you're putting that in just to make the color Redder, red. To make an ice cube. Okay. And like I said, you can get the little bonbon molds or whatever to be, you know, a little more decorative. Okay. And then, but to be a little more fancy, let's see if this works. I got to go to the freezer. Okay. So this is a special ice ice cube mold thing, right here. Well, it's it's actually kind of for scotch. Oh. Okay. Right here. Now, if you just yeah, very good. Very okay. Good. Now I got one of the cubes. Now. Oh yes. Put that in just like this. Now. Look we, at that. We can go ahead and continue on what we're doing, and start to assemble our drink. That okay. would go to the freezer. You want to put some of the the garnish we have there? In there? Yeah. Just, just put a it little bit like. in there. Or as how much? much? You want. I don't know. How much you like? Um, that's red pepper. Yeah. And cucumber. Uh huh. Okay. Let's just. Yeah, let's... I think that looks pretty good. I'm using my fingers because this is going to be mine. I just want yeah. you to know. I thought you were a professional and. Is that what don't professionals attempt that, do? Don't attempt that yes, at home. Yes, don't attempt that at home. Okay. Now, you can just put a little olive oil in there. Okay. Just a little sprinkle. Like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. So that's kind of nice. And now, here we have some of the puree. And we can make a little with spoons. Looks like a little egg. It shape, does, the way you do that. And we can put that in there. Here, you want to try one? That's for decoration? Uh-huh. Okay. All right. I'm gonna... Oh, here, use the warm one. It'll be much easier. Okay. Well, I shouldn't have told you. All right. I... Look at that. And yes, am I doing fired. it right? We're looking for someone. Yeah. What yeah. do we What do we call this? A little uh, tomato canal. I a tomato canal. Look at that. All right. And then put it right there. Uh huh. Look at that! Yay! Now, <laughs> look over here. We're almost ready. I got one just in case. So uh, the, where, what is this? Where do you get that? What is it? Well, it's, it's, it's uh, a Japanese ice mold. Look at that. Ball maker. And we just take that out like that. And we just put that in like that. So that has a little more concentrated flavor. Mm -hmm. And we could have added a little bit more garlic to really concentrate the flavor up there. Okay. And uh, Now what? Well, oh, okay. Now we can be real fancy. We can put the tomato broth in a teapot and you can put some herbs in it and then you just so you would serve it at home and table, just go by everyone and, you and, just, and so now you, the little ice ball oh, slowly melts and gives a lot more flavor comes out and then we just you know we can put a little breadstick across and you can put some little so herbs. So what did Martha Stewart think of it? Oh she liked she it liked I think. It? Yeah. Yeah. The only thing that maybe shook her up, she didn't know a dessert I was doing that had meringue that was frozen in liquid nitrogen. So oh. it was like 300 degrees below zero. Uh -huh. And when we put the hot berries over right in front of her, she Did wouldn't expect her? it to like smoke oh, up yeah. and like. You might like want to warn explode. people. All right, I'm gonna try this. It's all ready, right? Yeah. Okay. Macho gazpacho. Macho gas. This doesn't look very macho. This no. Is... Mm -mm. But does it taste macho? Mm, not good. Macho or mucho flavor? Mm. That's really tasty. <laughs> All right. And it's healthy. We're going to have the recipe on Sonora Lily.